On your market set, go. That's what teams will be hearing tonight in Kimberley for a shopping cart race. Yes, the fun event helps those in need. It's happening at Capital Credit Union. Carrie Burling joins us live along with Karen Zimke from St. Joseph Food Program. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. Carrie, let me start with you. What okay. are, for those who don't know and haven't witnessed us doing the shopping cart races in our parking lot here, what, what are the races all about? It's um, to kick off our annual food drive. So we have um, members and um, friends and relatives and employees of Capital um, form teams and come out and do the races and see who wins. Looks like you have some of it set up behind you. Can you t talk us through a little bit of what's going on behind you right now? Sure. What they'll need to do is they'll get a list. They go through um, the aisles and try to find the items on their list. The first one to get to the checkout, pay for their food, and bag it is the winner. And what does the winner get? The winner gets a gift card to the Piggly Wiggly. The, the team gets a gift card to the Piggly Wiggly. Now, are the teams already set? Yes, we have uh, 16 teams total, 14 that are made up of capital employees, and then two teams from uh, the Little Shoot and Kakana Piggly Wiggly stores. Are you inviting people to come and watch? Oh yes, we encourage everyone to come out and visit. It's very exciting and it should be a good time and hopefully the weather clears up. Um, and then that's how, if you come out and visit, then we um, encourage you to bring donations so you can help fund the six area food pantries and the three animal shelters that we are helping. And Karen, that's where you come in. You're going to benefit from this. Explain how that works for you. Well, it's just, it's just a nice thing that Capital Credit Union is doing for us. It helps supplement um, our food budget. We you know, have a, a food budget of about $350,000 a year. And anytime we get extra food and donations and these food drives always helps to supplement that. So we really, we really appreciate it. And it's a nice awareness and um, uh, just a great thing for our clients at the St. Joseph Food Program. How many people do you serve? We serve 1,100 families every week. Our families are um, able to come in once a week and um, shop for food. We are the largest program in the area, like I said, serving 1,100 families a week. We supplement um, Hortonville and Cots. Um, so we run a, a great operation and um, serve a great need. Well, Karen and Carrie, thank you so much for joining us. We'll check back with you next hour, talk a little bit more about the races and how everyone can help out some of these um, area uh, food pantries.